Hello, everybody. So I got some questions in the Terraforms because we everybody was talking about optimization and uh, and stuff and what InMass or Bluehole could do and what the possible problems are. And I talked about the frame rate that I'm able to get in this game. Um, and I know I did the video actually doing benchmarks, but. Um, actually, you know, showing footage with a camera, so nothing is affecting my system, and having fraps running in the corner is usually really helpful. So here, let me put the settings that I use on. Low performance dimming, lighting enrichment zero, no travel effects, all that down. Aerial, landscape, distant environment, shadow, character, and then click apply. And I'm on the High Watch server. I'm in High Watch right now. Let me just switch to my other set of gear. There you go. And you're able to see me walk into, you know, it's not a big population of people like in probably other servers. I'm not on other, uh, any of the other servers. And I did mention that I'm able to get go over 200. I mean, yeah, I am. What of it? I'm not going anywhere right now. Nowhere in particular, you know. You know, just go into an unpopulated spot of the, the game. You know, still with geometry and stuff in my, and you know, these graphical settings that I'm using right now are my, um, it's for PVP. So I have a little bit higher frame rate. But you could say I'm cherry picking, so here. Just move the slider to preset 6, and then go down, lighting enrichment 1, click apply. And 136, 137. But you know, it's not impressive, it's nothing really. So. Velika. And don't mind me, just a little vape. Right now I'm vaping a juice called It's Toast from Craft Vapery. You should, uh, if you vape, check out my, uh, Craft Vapory box opening and review video right here. The annotation. So in Velika, and like I said, preset six lighting enrichment one, because I don't like everything looking all smeared. And uh, actually, I could already just alt tab. I'll show you my GPU Z. Well, that's working out. And this is where something interesting about the optimization or lack of in this game comes into play. Uh, because right now, well actually I kind of need uh, this open, System Explorer. So, you know, I'm around a lot of people in the game right now. Frame rate is tanking. I can't figure out how in the engine itself to enable the the debug stuff. I figured I had to turn the game into wireframe and get rid of the terrain and a lot of other stuff, but I can't get debug messages on the screen to show me frame times and threading percentages and all the other Unreal debug stuff. But um, 
I had the game to using four, you know, my four cores. I have hyper threading, so I have eight. So let's see what happens if I put in all, all eight. Actually, I should probably open up this. Hi. Okay, so, like I said, I'm in a place full of people. And it's using 0, 2, 4, 6. It's doing what it should be doing. Let me make sure over here it's set right. Yep, it's here. Yep. And the interesting thing is, you know, it's using 30%. But for some reason, it's not feeding my GPU. My GPU has render, you know, prepare eight frames for the G for the GPU, uh, in in the advanced options. But still, it won't feed the GPU. And the reason I know that right now is because I have it set so my 980 Ti will clock up to 1531. And I also have a custom BIOS on my 980 Ti. And right now it's saying there's utility, uh, utilization limit, I mean, and it's just going up to 1518. Okay, so that's all well and good. What are you trying to prove, Jack? Well, let's go back to that undisclosed, very private location. And I'll have that open, task manager. And watch how things will shift around. And I do have the game running in high priority. So everything goes to this thread. For God knows why. Everything kind of shift or shifted around. Let's see if I could get rid of that utilization limit. Because everything is on capped right now. My computer must... Oh, yeah, that's right, I'm running in a higher detail. Okay, let's see, did it end up going up at all? Uh, for a little bit, for a little bit, it did. Tiny little bit. Okay, so let's lower the detail the way I had it before, so the frame rates go up. You'll see something interesting, I think. I'm pretty sure. I won't cut it out if I'm wrong. Okay, what's this? What is this? Why is the game all of a sudden using CPU5, which is a hyper-threaded part of the, th the third core? Just all of a sudden. It shouldn't be touching the hyper-threaded parts because when you use those, uh, there becomes a, a latency issue. So let me just turn off these and actually manually set it. And here you can watch things change. There we go, everything shifts around a little bit. Right, now they're on the cores they're supposed to be using. So I can minimize that guy. Minimize that guy. And I'll run around a bit now that the window is activated. I am in full screen window out of just uh, the way I like to use the game. Alt tab. You should be running in full screen exclusive if you have a worse computer. You shouldn't be running other things in the background. Okay, so that's probably enough data. Yeah, only that little bit there was I able to get it to clock itself back up. And just to make things easier, just preset six. I won't even change it. Just preset. Uh, sorry about that. I wasn't aware because the camera's behind me that I used up the 10 minutes. I don't know where I left off, so I'll edit this in somehow. It looked like I left off, I was still in Baldera. But now I'm in the Bamarama Circle. 
and preset 6 with lightning enrichment 2. But anyway, let's take a look at the GPU Z log here. Now it was only able to clock itself up like once. I can't go oh I can't go into the past a little bit. But yeah, the, the game's the game's strange, you already know that. You saw my frame rate, so hopefully this is informational more than anything. Uh, see you guys later.